How to file a life insurance death claim. If you have a life insurance policy, it's important for you to talk to your loved ones about its details. If it's still in force at the time of your death, your beneficiaries can submit a claim with the appropriate documents. There isn't a time limit on how long you have to file a life insurance claim, and the process is quite simple. It can take between 30 and 60 days for the insurance company to process a claim. It can take longer if the policyholder died within the contestability period, which is the first two years of owning the policy, or if your death was caused by suicide. Let's review the steps needed to submit a claim. Number one, contact the life insurance agent or the insurance company's customer service department. The beneficiary will need to notify the insurance company or agent of the policyholder's death. If there's a group life insurance policy, contact the employer. They will guide you through the process and indicate which documents you need. Step two, gather documents. There are three documents needed to file a death benefit claim. Number one, the death certificate. The insurer will need a certified copy of the policyholder's death certificate. You can request a copy from whoever prepared it, usually the funeral home or medical professional. You also can request a copy from your local vital records office. Number two, policy document. This will have all of the necessary information about the life insurance policy, the term, the death benefit amount, and other details. If you don't know the location of the policy, contact the insurance company if you know who it is, or search your loved one's files, or reach out to their financial advisor or insurance agent. Number three, claim form, also known as a request for benefits. You'll fill out information about the policy holder, cause of death, policy number, etc. You'll also indicate your relationship to the policyholder and how you would like to be paid once the insurance company processes the claim. Step number three, wait for the claim to be processed. After you submit the correct documents, the insurer will start processing the claim. They'll verify beneficiaries and make sure the policy is still in force. If the policy lapsed because of non-payment or the term ran out, there won't be a death benefit paid out. It can take up to 30 to 60 days to receive the death benefit, although insurance companies do have an incentive to pay out quickly so they can avoid interest charges on unpaid death benefits. Step number four, receive the death benefit. There are different ways you can choose to receive the benefit, depending on the insurer and the policy. The two most common options are lump sum and annuity. The first is lump sum. With a lump sum payment, the beneficiary gets the entire death benefit at once, tax free. You'll likely be able to choose how you want to receive it, either by direct deposit or you may be able to receive a check. And the second way is an annuity. The beneficiary may be able to convert the death benefit into an annuity instead of receiving it as a lump sum. The death benefit is essentially invested and then paid back to you as an annual payment for a set number of years. The death of a loved one is exceedingly difficult, so don't be afraid to ask for help and accept it when it's offered. I'm Kelly Augsburger with Steadfast Insurance, and if you have any questions or want to learn more, connect with me online or give me a call and I'm happy to help.